Hey, this is Mike. In this series of tutorials, I'm going to show you how to change your landing page from something like this, uh, which is kind of useless, to something like this, um, which gives you some information for your students and sort of keeps your students uh, interested in the course. So first things first, we're going to need to delete this home page. So how you do that is you're going to click on the downward arrow by home page and you just hit delete. And you're going to say, yes, I want to delete this menu item. And then it's going to say, you're sure you want to do it? And I say, yeah, I want to delete it. And now it's gone. So now let's talk about how you create this enhanced landing page here. I want to make sure that I get rid of all of the side icons that appear on my Blackboard site. On any basic Blackboard site, every time you create a content type, there's going to be a side icon on the side and it kind of gets in the way. Um, let me kind of show you what that would look like. So in general, you'll notice that there are all these icons on the side of every um, content area. And I want to get rid of those. So the way you get rid of those for the entire site is you're going to scroll down to your course management area. And under your customization, you're going to have teaching style. And if I click on teaching style and I scroll down, first of all, I can change the entry point, which I'll probably do. I want it to be that enhanced landing page. And the other thing I can do is I can change the content view to text only, and I want to choose apply this view to all existing content. And I'll click on submit. And now you'll notice if I go back to that enhanced landing page, now that icon is gone. And things are going to look kind of weird on your page um, with all these arrows and whatnot. And you can always take a look and see what the student view looks like um, by going to enter student preview mode right up here at the top right. So you'll see everything looks a little bit neater and tighter. Um, and I'm going to exit preview so I can actually edit the pages. So I'll exit the preview. So there are a bunch of things going on here, and I'm not going to go over everything in this one tutorial. But what I do want to show you is how to change your font. That's one of the most important things. And so that's what I'm going to deal with in this video here. So to change your font, it's very easy. I'm going to go to a, the standard landing page, which I created. And this has all the same content that you see in the enhanced landing page. But the enhanced landing page just has a bigger font, has a picture, and has a few other nice bells and whistles. So I'll go back to the standard landing page. And I've got this welcome to the course. And I've got the about the course right here. And first thing I want to do is I want to edit it. So if I go to the uh, arrow next to welcome to the course, and I click on that, and I click on edit, Now you'll see here's my content and I can change the font. So to change the font, I'm going to select all the font content that I want to change. And I can now change the font type. If I don't like Arial, I can choose one of the other fonts that are available to me, uh, Tahoma, for example. And then I can change the font size. And I want 14 point. Even though it says 14 point here, it's not. And I choose 14 point. And 14 point is a nice size. Um, so I'm going to hit submit. And there I have it. It's already much better. I have this welcome to the course, which is kind of small. Um, but then I have this. And how do I change the welcome to the course so that it's not, it doesn't look so weird? That's the other thing I'll show you in this video. Um, so if I go to uh, edit it again, click on the downward arrow and click edit. What I like to do is I like to add the title up at the top. So I'll put welcome to the course here at the top of my content area. And now I can do that whatever size I want. I can bold it, which is nice. I can change the color if I want. So if I wanted that to be a different color, I could choose a different color. Uh, and let's choose, say, like a dark blue for that. Um, and I could choose dark blue for the about the course as well to keep it the same. And now they're both dark blue. But now I have this black name of the course, and that's going to kind of show up at the beginning. So what I like to do is I like to change that to white. And I can click on the downward arrow. And then I can either find white, which I believe is over here. 
or I can type in the number for white, which is F, 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 F. Um, but I'll choose white and I'll say apply. And now that's gonna be white. And if I hit submit, now you'll notice when I'm not hovered over that area, you can't see that top welcome to the course. And when I hover over it, you'll see it's very faint there, but you'll see this is already so much nicer than the standard landing page uh, used to be. So that's how you change the font, change the color and get rid of your icon.